The Community Catalyst Program was developed in partnership with Intergy Arkansas and the University of Central Arkansas Center for Community and Economic Development. Through a competitive application process, five communities were selected to participate in the program. Wynn, Harrison, Magnolia, Monticello, and Searcy. The Stennis Institute of Government at Mississippi State University also served as a key partner of the program. The foundation of the Community Catalyst Program is citizen engagement, action, and impact-driven technical assistance support. We utilized a process called strategic doing to generate success at the local level. Strategic doing is an innovative community development tool that, unlike traditional strategic planning, focuses on immediate, impactful small wins and goals to create transformation in communities. The communities participating in the program received a variety of benefits, such as a community survey, strategic doing workshop, and a mini-grant to support completion of a community and economic development project. Communities also received direct support and guidance from Intergy, the University of Central Arkansas, and our partners at Mississippi State University. Due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, we pivoted to support communities in new ways. We offered other technical assistance programs like walk audits, training, and branding assistance. On behalf of our staff at UCA and our partners at Intergy, we would like to take a moment to share about the communities involved in the Community Catalyst Program and their achievements. Wynn is the county seat and largest city of Cross County, Arkansas. Known as the city with a smile, Wynn is nestled between the Arkansas Delta and Crowley's Ridge in Northeast Arkansas. Wynn recently announced a certified select site with Intergy Arkansas and completed the Competitive Communities Initiative, or CCI, in conjunction with the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. The city is the ninth community in the state of Arkansas to receive the CCI designation. In Wynn, we recognize how vital small business development and support is to growing our community. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. Therefore, as a part of the Community Catalyst process, we partner with Retail Strategies, a retail recruitment and downtown revitalization firm headquartered in the South, to provide virtual training to our local businesses. The session called Etail Strategies, Get Your Business Online, focused on providing our local businesses with best practices for creating a multi-channel sales strategy. Following the virtual training, our staff at the Cross County Chamber and Wynn Economic Development share the recording and supplemental materials with all our members. Materials shared included the Small Business Digital Marketing Guide, a guide on how to optimize your Facebook page, and a social media content calendar template. Located in the heart of the Ozark Mountains, Harrison is the county seat of Boone County. The city can be described as an outdoor lover's dream. You can find opportunities for canoeing and fishing amid the limestone bluffs and serene scenery on the Buffalo National River. Boasting a low cost of living, laid back lifestyle, and historic downtown, Harrison draws a steady stream of new residents and visitors. While the COVID-19 pandemic altered plans for the Community Catalyst Program, it didn't slow Harrison down. Capitalizing on our partnership with Energy and UCA, and prior to hosting the Strategic Doing Workshop, our leadership participated in a futures game simulation, the virtual poverty simulation, and hosted a walk audit in downtown Harrison in partnership with Kraft & Toll. These events allowed us to consider how to make our community more sustainable, and more equitable while raising the quality of life of our citizens. After hosting the Strategic Doing Workshop, we move forward on implementing a marketing campaign entitled Destination Ozarks. That's highlighting the things to do and quality of life initiatives that we have here in Harrison and Boone County. Founded in 1849 in the Arkansas Timberlands near the Arkansas Delta region, the city of Monticello has long been a commercial, cultural and educational hub for Southeast Arkansas. A diversified infrastructure consisting of commerce, agriculture, and the timber industry creates a strong foundation for growth. Not only did the Community Catalyst Program aid in the creation of a new shooting sports event for our city that supported our focus on expanding youth and family activities at the local level, it also opened many other doors 
Because of the Community Catalyst Program, Monticello was selected as the Community Development Institute Advanced Year Community, where we had the opportunity to host a group of community and economic development experts from all over the Mid-South to complete a high-level assessment of our community. Our city also hosted a walk audit that provided us with place-making concepts and solutions for diversified transportation, vehicular, pedestrian, and bike, parking, equitable access, wayfinding, and beautification. Located in Southwest Arkansas, Magnolia serves as the county seat of Columbia County and is considered a member of the Golden Triangle, which includes the cities of Magnolia, El Dorado, and Camden. Founded in 1853, Magnolia was considered an agricultural hub of the area and later transitioned to become a heavy manufacturing city. As a part of our participation in the Community Catalyst Program, Magnolia was selected for a full-scale branding development initiative in partnership with Thrive, UCA, and Entergy. After developing our brand that features a one-of-a-kind Magnolia Blossom, we invited students from the local high school to paint a mobile mural inspired by the brand. Hanging behind me is the finished product, which is located in the Square Park in downtown Magnolia. We recognize that our downtown square is our biggest asset. During the Strategic Doing Workshop, we continue to capitalize on the beautification of downtown by stringing lights in the Square Park. This made the area an inviting space for citizens and visitors to enjoy while they were in downtown Magnolia. Founded in 1838, Searcy is the largest city and county seat of White County. Searcy serves as an educational hub for the area, featuring two public school districts, three private elementary schools, Arkansas State University, BB Searcy, and the largest private university in Arkansas, Harding University. In 2019, Searcy was the subject of the Hulu series, Small Business Revolution, that supported investments and revitalized small businesses in the city of Searcy. After the success of the Small Business Revolution, we wanted to capitalize on the energy and excitement within Searcy. As a part of the Community Catalyst Program, we implemented a community survey to assess the wants and needs of our community and develop priorities for community and economic development projects. Over 1,400 citizens participated in the survey, ensuring we received input from diverse voices and set ourselves up for success. Youth and family activities and parks and recreation were two of the top six focus areas identified by citizens through the survey process. Knowing these areas are viewed as some of the most important by our community, the city is currently working on development of a 20-year city master plan, which will focus on parks and recreation, infrastructure, and active transportation. On behalf of Entergy Arkansas, I want to thank our partners at the University of Central Arkansas, Mississippi State University, and the many community leaders and citizens who engaged in the community catalyst process. Wynn, Harrison, Monticello, Magnolia, and Searcy are great examples of what local leaders can accomplish when they work together.